Hadley, do you have the data? No! What the... This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to the adventures of Commander Shepard. And we've just left Novaria and taken control of the Cerberus fighter base. And it looks like EGM, the Enhanced Galaxy mod, has given us some more missions to take. We need to disable this Minuteman station before we assault the elusive man's base. Oh look, this is the station where Shepard went to after he was um, rescued. Hold on, what is going on here? The largest Cerberus station is well hidden within the Horsehead Nebula. Unlike other bases that are run by a single cell, it is able to house multiple cells, including the Lazarus cell, during its early stages, its orbits. WV-1706A at a relatively low orbit, allowing it to harness the solar power of the bright sun while having the protection of the planet's magnetic corona to reduce some of the worst radiation. Security protocols are strict. Cerberus ships automatically have their memory banks wiped off the face of the station's location. When leaving the system, upon arrival in the Horsehead Nebula, each ship must remotely apply for a new protocol to obtain Minuteman's location and bypass its defense grid, since even Cerberus senior operatives are not privy, privy to its exact position in the cluster. The station's sophisticated automatic defenses protect both the station and the surrounding asteroid field in support of a Cerberus fleet that patrols nearby. So what are we supposed to do here? Enter orbit. There's nothing here to do. Oh, I forgot. Scan I it. Something. All right, now let's try. <gasps> that was a scene from Mass Effect 2. All right, live stream incoming. Fleet communications. All right, I'm not going to read this. I don't really like reading what this person said and that person said. So, if you want to read this, this is a lot, but this is definitely EGM. This is how they set up the text-based missions. All right, so we have captured the station. Hammerhead Squadron, Atlas Mech, Detachment, Intelligence on the Reapers. Alright, I think we can leave now. Let's see if there are any other things here showing up on the map for us. All right, looks like it's quiet. I think the Reapers have pretty much overtaken the entire Milky Way. All right, so what we're up to today is back at the Citadel. 
There's only two things we can do. And we are going to Dr. Bryson's lab. And this will be the start of the Leviathan DLC. Never done this DLC before. This is completely blind. Gives all known locations and update the map. They contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Hmm. Really? Is that necessary? That's an interesting goal. But is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we can just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Hmm, how does that matter now? Alliance resources are stretched pretty thin. Is this really worth the time? Just imagine if this task force had existed three years ago when you discovered the Prothean Beacon. This whole war might not have happened. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough is near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! What the...? This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a CSEC alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? <laughs> All right, so the man we came to see, Dr. Bryson, it looks like he's dead. You're a murderer. You just shot your boss. He's dead. Why? After you arrived, it was dark, cold, like I was somewhere else. Take a good look. You did that. You pulled the trigger and killed him. No. No. I couldn't have. No! I'm not a murderer! You're lying. I saw you pull the trigger. Then you tried to kill me. I swear, I didn't! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating? I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. 
What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Hmm. Huh. Leviathan could be useful. I see Bryson's point. Anything capable of bringing a Reaper down is worth finding. Despite the potential dangers it could pose, I would agree. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. Find audio log. I feel like we need to, um, have some of the tech from Andromeda where they had those scanners that you would go. Oh, look at this. This looks like some. Some kind of Halloween thing that you would see in a novelty shop. I can't get through these locked doors. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers, burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not stay to destination. Then get me one. He's out there somewhere, and we need him. I'll do what I can. Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Consult galaxy map. Does this tell us where Garneau went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Search the lab for clues. Okay, can I turn this on again? It would be nice if that was a clue. <laughs> oh, look, now the doors are unlocked. Okay, here we go. Love the atmospheric music. Look. A skeleton. Loch Ness Monster? Plesiosaur. Loch Ness Monster is more interesting. Interesting and non-existent. I love this atmospheric music. Computer console. Looks like data on the Rachni. Video log. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni Wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong. And Rachni weren't in planet with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. We saw a data pad containing data on Rachni movements earlier. It may be relevant. Hmm. Can I continue, uh, my research? Look at this picture of a, a drawing. Uh, and Bryson. H9. This does not seem relevant at the moment. Doesn't it? I'm sure it's his daughter. All right. Uh, we've checked the console. Oh, look at this. An SMG mass pulse recoil system. 
whatever that does. Look. Rocks. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Okay, how do we do that? Ah, look. A scope. Meteorite sample. With traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the galaxy map program. Okay, well, we've got more stuff here. Let's examine this PDA. The Thorian. You know what? In the way that guy was acting that killed his boss, it, it was like he was taken over by the Thorian. All right, the Thorian, a life form discovered on Pharos, provides fascinating insight into the life cycle of a truly alien species. Unlike conventionally intelligent life, it does not use mass relays. Prothean artifacts would not interest it. Commander Shepard claims that the Reaper enemies cultivated life to evolve along lines they could predict. Using technology the Reapers controlled, the Thorian is an exception to that rule. It evolved to use organic tools rather than conventional technology. Leviathan must somehow similar must okay let's try this again leviathan must be somehow similar to have survived undetected for so long the thorian used pain conditioning to control its victims using them as manual labor or even as a man would use his own hands and fingers commander shepherd claims that reapers do the same thing through a different process called indoctrination. Whenever Leviathan, whatever it is, it must do something similar. What's this? Creature sightings. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. The photographs have a trace chemical residue. It may be visible under another light source. Do you have another light source, Edie? Or do we use this switch? Look. Oh my goodness. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie. Can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. <laughs> Creature sightings. I just, I love the graphics here. This just looks amazing. For a game as aged as this is. Okay, I guess we will continue our search. What's this machine? A sovereign fragment? You've got to be kidding me. Sovereign. Vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? All right, I guess we're going in here. There are stairs, though. But is there anything up here for me to see? Just a bedroom, but wait! An audio log. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Commander, the Dreadnought is in custody, but the Solarians may have surveillance footage. Our ambassador will issue a full denial. Give me your preliminary analysis. Several million years old at least, and its technology outstrips anything on the Council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the hegemony. One concern, Commander. The real Leviathan of Dis, the thing that destroyed the ship, is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. The ship is our priority. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. 
The hegemony. I had no idea that's how it was pronounced. I think I was calling it hegemony for all this time. Look, another picture. By Ann Bryson. Age nine. This does not seem relevant at the moment. At the moment? And not to you, Edie, but it does to me. Because I believe Dr. Bryson has a daughter. All right, let's go in here. All right, well, let's search back here. There could be something. Something hit. Pistol ultralight materials. All right. You know what? I actually could probably use that so that I can use the Carnifex again. Because it's too heavy and it infects the uh, cooldowns of Shepard's biotics. Look here, an SMG high velocity barrel. And there's something else. Uh oh, rapid transit. No, we don't want to go anywhere. We've got here, Pistol Cranial Trauma System. All right, so it doesn't appear to be anything out here that is germane to our investigation. All right, let's use this computer console. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Okay, and how about this console? Will it tell us that? Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Yes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter now. Okay, what else do we need to look at? We're back here at the map. Oh. All right, so let's try this. First, we'll look for locations with element zero. Element zero deposits. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Of course I wish to further narrow the search. Are you kidding me? All right, let's look at the blackout crimes. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. What else have we got? Creature sightings. Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Wow. All right, well, is there anything else I can search for? I'm not sure. We went through here thoroughly enough. The Rachni data. The Can you add a cross reference data. for locations of sightings? There we go. Adding it now. That part was missing. All right, let's try adding the Rachni data and see if that. We'll narrow this down. Rachni activity. No results. What? Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. What does she mean by that? So, if I deactivate the blackout crimes, it's not the creature sighting, because it has to be involving that. Deactivate element zero? No, that's not really helping.
creature sightings. Huh. That doesn't leave us with much. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Hmm. Element zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Five possible systems. All right. Five systems with element zero. Is this with the rachni? Or it's not? Rachni activity. Does that help? I don't think so. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Okay. No rachni. Five possible systems. Blackout crimes. Blackout crimes. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Okay. Get rid of those. Five possible systems. Creature sightings. Alien sightings. Three possibilities. There we go. That's much better. Well, I guess we're going with the three possibilities then. Or is there something else I might be able to add? Let's see. Rachni activity? Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Okay, so no Rachni. Three possibilities. I think that we're gonna have to go with three. All right, can we go? Can I talk to you, Edie? No? All right, let's, uh... Return to the Normandy. Three possibilities is better than five. I mean, I, I like the, the puzzles, how they weren't difficult. I mean, you know, it's like you, you would stumble on this stuff. Commander. Lord. All right, he'll have to wait. We're on a mission. All right. What have we got here? Scan for Dr. Garneau. We'll go here to the Crescent Nebula. Before I start scanning, is this the right system? No, it's out here. Lusarn. Signal confirmed. What is this? Fuel? Okay. And we've got Reaper alerts. Alright, at least the Reapers aren't close. Alright, so this is the planet Untanta. Untanta. Let's scan.
Search unsuccessful. No active power source or evidence of recent habitation. It is unlikely that Dr. Garneau will be found here. Continue your search. Garneau is not located in this system. All right. Let's go. Is there some more fuel for us? Oh, it looks like something else. Credits recovered. Okay. Okay, let's head back to the mass relay. All right, where's our next location? All right, let's head to the Calston Rift. I found something. All right, hopefully some fuel for our return voyage. Okay, good, good. Ma Havid. We have located Garneau. We have? All right, Ma Havid is a metallic asteroid in the very sparse Naata Belt. <laughs> oh gosh, these words. It has a high nickel and iron content in the form of camasite. The rights to mine Mahavid belong to TGES Mineral Works, who sell their products primarily to the colonists of Arvuna. A close flyby reveals light emanating from its facilities. All right, let's get a landing party together. And I'm taking Edie since she's been pretty instrumental in this so far. And Garrus. Let's see. He's got a Tempest and a Predator. All right, and Garrus is good. All right, Edie, let's see. Let's get your defensive matrix up here. All right, we will increase power damage. All right, let's go. We're about five minutes out, Commander. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility, TGS Mineral Works, small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. Let's run through the brief. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Is there a clearer idea of what this Leviathan was? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But it is Garneau, Dr. Bryson's associate, that we are looking for. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Agreed. Hmm, it's got my attention. Powerful enough to take down a Reaper, but hiding from the war. There's more to this. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Bryson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan too, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. <laughs> Take us in. That's for sure.
Don't go anywhere, Cortez. We'll grab this guy and be right out. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. Yes, Commander. All right. We are going to end the episode here, and we will continue with more of the Leviathan of Dis in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.